Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So I've been using iOS 16.1 beta 1 for a couple of days and in this video I'm gonna talk about the battery life and performance. As you can see, I have both iPhone 12 and iPhone 10R. On both of these devices I've been using and running iOS 16.1 beta 1. So we'll talk about battery, we'll talk about performance and also I have experienced some bugs so I'll talk about that as well. So make sure you watch this video till the end and without further wasting any time, let's get right into the video. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because this gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos on the channel. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first things first, let's talk about iPhone 12 because iPhone 12 is the device on which I've been testing primarily the battery life. So if I go to the general and if I talk about the about section, as you can see there are changes and iOS version is 16.1. If I tap on that, as you can see, this is the new build number. Now on the initial video, iOS 16.1 beta 1, I've talked about that we are not able to see the software update. So no matter what phone you have, I have verified with the other phones as well. So that bug was present, but you know, you know fortunately, this bug has now been resolved. So if I uh, take a look at my iPhone 10R, so if I go to general and software updates, uh, you will not be able to see that bug because that has been resolved after one day. So that bug has been resolved and it was happening on every device uh, that was on iOS 16.1 beta 1. So that bug is now resolved. Now talking about the new features, I've talked about the new features, so I'm not going to go in detail for that. Let's have a look at the battery life. So before we take a look at the battery life, as I told you before, this battery health option has now been renamed to battery health and charging. So if we take a look at that, as you can see on my iPhone 12, the battery health was 89% and after updating also, the battery health was not dropped. And it's been almost more than one year I've been using this iPhone 12 and I have a SIM over here and I use it regularly. So I would say the battery life is not good, not bad, and also the battery health is going good. So Apple recommends that after two years, you might be down to 80% of your battery health. And after that, you might need to replace if you want to have the peak performance capability option. So that's something I just wanted to mention. Now taking a look at the battery life, as you can see for last 24 hours, screen on time is four hour, 56 minutes, and the screen off time is 24 minutes. And these are the application that I use regularly, some social media applications, and messenger twitter and all this application now this is the scenario for last 24 hours now if i talk about last 10 days as you can see on an average i've been getting a screen on time of 6 hour 51 minutes and screen off time of 1 hour 28 minutes so uh, don't be confused this is not this good because i have to charge my iphone 12 i'm a heavy user i, I most of the times i'll be on call or video calls and then I have to join meetings from my phone. So at the end of the day, I'll have to, you know, charge my phone or my phone will be down to, you know, six to seven percent. So that's what is happening with as of now with iOS 16.1 beta one. So that's what I would say. And these are the application. Let me know if you have already updated to iOS 16.1 beta one. How is the battery life for you and whether you are facing the battery drain issue or not. Now talking about the battery drain issue, I wouldn't say it's a battery drain issue. It just depends on the physical, uh, you know, battery capacity of your iPhone for different iPhones phones it will be different iphone 12 uh, it's decent i wouldn't say it's bad but you know compared to ios 15 i felt that ios 16.1 beta 1 the battery life is okay not good not bad so that's my impression regarding the battery life also now talking about the performance this is iphone 12 and the phone is running a uh, very smooth and fine there is no lag whatsoever apart from some occasional bugs or you know some sometimes it lags because this is a beta software that is running on this iphone 12 i also have ram the geekbench 5 score because many of you want to see that as you can see the single core score 
on this iPhone 12 is 1582 and the multi-core score is 3951 and also some of you have asked me to run the Geekbench 5 on this iPhone XR the scores will be of course a little low for iPhone XR but the single core score is 1123 and the multi-core score is 2705 so I felt that for iPhone XR you know with iOS 16.1 beta 1 the performance is not up to the mark uh, as you can see the battery is down to 14 percent and the good thing is that with the big Biggest feature that we have received with iOS 16.1 beta 1 is that for older iPhones, the iPhones like iPhone 10R, iPhone 11, and even with the mini iPhones like iPhone 12 mini and 13 mini, this battery percentage is available. So, but talking about the performance, performance is okay if you, you know, in general, just you know, scroll through UI and open an application, and close it, you wouldn't feel it. But I can feel because I've been using iPhone for years, the performance is not up to the mark on iPhone 10R. Because this iPhone XR is now an old iPhone to be honest and we don't expect a buttery smooth performance with iPhone XR. But that's okay. That's something I wanted to mention with this iOS 16.1 beta 1. But I've seen better with iPhone XR uh, on iOS 15. But you know talking about this iPhone 12 there is no performance issues as such. But that's regarding the performance on both of these iPhones. Now I was saying that there are some bugs you know I have experienced throughout the you know testing period uh, within the three four days of time what I was you know facing so let me just show you that as you can see I have opened whatsapp and I'm on iOS 16.1 beta 1 I am sending a message to me so the messages and all would be just be fine but if I talk about you know if I want to send a photo or maybe a video or something so that would actually you know not happen so if I just want to you know send this picture right through whatsapp to a person so if I just click on send so as you can see the whatsapp automatically crashes so this you know there's no update present in the app store I've checked that I've restarted my phone but this keep on happening the only way you can share a photo through whatsapp is you go to the photo application like you literally go to the photo application and then you share it that way it will work but if you want to share a photo um, if you are on whatsapp and trying to send a photo to a different person and every time the whatsapp crashes so that's the thing i wanted to talk about i wanted to highlight this is definitely a bug and you know i'm hoping that with ios 16.1 beta 2 this bug will be fixed so there are bugs you know there are certain feature which doesn't work so that's why when people ask me should i need to upgrade to ios 16.1 beta 1 or you know beta software series of softwares then i always tell people this if you are having a secondary iphone then definitely try out the new features and for that please download the ios beta profile and then try out the new features but please expect there will be few bugs here and there just like the one i showed you few minutes back so then again with the help of this video i wanted to give you my impression of ios 16.1 beta 1 you know i've been using this beta software for three four days i'm looking forward to get ios 16.1 uh, you know beta 2 in the next weeks probably so i'll let you know once i receive ios 16.1 beta 2 on both of these iphones but at the moment i would say ios 16.1 beta 1 is you know not up to the mark in terms of battery or in terms of performance but doesn't mean that it's bad but you can live with it so then again that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel and i will see you on my next video Bye bye